Hello friends and welcome to ACC Updates India once again. Today we are going to discuss some big updates given by ACC relating to Ethics and Professional Skills module which is introduction of a peer assessment test. So let us see in detail about the peer assessment. Peer assessment is being introduced to unit 8 of the Ethics and Professional Skills module for those who purchased the module after 31st March of 2021. So this update will be available to those who purchased the module from 1st April 2021. Anyone who registered for the module prior to 1st April will not have the peer assessment component included within the module and won't be required to complete it. So let us see what is peer assessment. Peer assessment is an interactive way of learning using a process of receiving feedback from your peers that is from other students on your own work and you providing feedback to your peers. So as a part of an interactive task you will receive feedback on the presentations you have completed and in turn be asked to provide feedback on presentations created by fellow EPSM users. Let's see what e when will peer assessment will be introduced. So anyone registering for the ethics and professional skills module from 31st March 2021 will have to complete the peer assessment component being introduced to unit 8 of the module. Anyone who registered for the module prior to 31st March will not have the peer assessment component included within the module and won't be required to complete it. Next, what peer assessment will involve? As a part of task within Unit 8, you will be asked to prepare and submit a presentation with accompanying notes. Once you have submitted your presentation for review, your presentation will be subsequently reviewed against a set marking criteria by 5 other students. Meanwhile, you will also be assigned and asked to assess 5 other students' presentations. Once both part of this process have been completed, you will receive a score on your presentation and relevant feedback on your presentation. Next steps after completing peer assessment. If your presentation has achieved a score high enough to pass, you will be able to advance the next part of the module. If your presentation has not passed, then you will be a to complete the peer assessment task again, taking on board the feedback that you have received to make improvement to your presentation. You will only be able to advance to the next stage of the module when the presentation has received the score high enough to pass. Next, how will you benefit from the peer assessment task? Being able to clearly present your work and ideas to colleges and clients is an interactive skills for finance professionals. Using peer assessment supports the learning of these key communication skills, enriches the learning experience and is a proven method of receiving reliable feedback. By both receiving feedback on your presentation and reviewing presentations of others, you will gain a deeper understanding of how best to present your work to others in future. So if you have, haven't seen our previous video on ethics and professional skills module then go and check the video now. The next video will be on the further guidelines on the preparing a presentation and peer reviewing the others works. So stay connected to get more about the update on peer assessment introduced in ethics and professional skills module by ACC. Thank you. Thank you.